Hi friends, welcome to Little Woods Art. We're out here at the pond listening to the frogs singing. It's springtime. Hi everybody, welcome back to Little Woods Art. Um, it's springtime, so today I thought we would paint this watercolor frog. So if you want to join me, get your watercolors and your pencils and brushes and let's get started. Now I painted this frog on watercolor paper, but if you don't have watercolor paper at home, you can just use regular copy paper. The nice thing about watercolor paper is it soaks up the extra water, but um, copy paper will work just as well. So first thing we need to do is draw the frog. So grab your pencil. I'm gonna draw really dark so that you can see the frog. I've lightly traced the outline of it just to help me um, show you. But you wanna draw lighter so that you can erase any marks before you watercolor. So go to the middle of your paper and first thing you're gonna do is draw an upside down U for the front foot. And then from this part to that part, you're gonna make three points. So it looks like a tulip, which is also a springtime um, colorful thing that we see. And then come a little bit over and do the same thing, upside down U, like that. So you wanna have some space in between those because he's gonna be hanging on a stick, okay? Then go in between these two and draw a line. That's gonna be the branch. And come on this side and draw another, a little bit wider back foot, okay? Upside down U. And then put the three points on it again. And do the same thing over here. Come to the front foot and we're going to not draw the whole part of the back foot. We're just going to draw part of it so it looks like it's behind. See how that point is kind of hidden? And then just extend the stick out. Okay, then come down and you want to make your stick the bottom. Perfect. Next you're going to come underneath. See where his front feet are and we're going to draw like a fat U shape. That's his belly. And then come underneath this foot and you can, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a frog in my throat drawing a frog. You can either draw this rounded or pointed for his leg and do the same on the other side. So it looks like he's hanging. Now we have his body done. Now we need to draw his face, the fun part. So right here in the middle, I'm gonna draw a little chin. And then go up from the chin and you could draw a smiley face or a frowny face. I'm kind of doing a wavy line. I'm gonna put a little line at the end so it looks like he has a little bit of a cheek. And then you wanna go from the mouth, go up and draw two big eyes like that and inside the eyes you want to draw another circle and remember to leave a little bit of white that makes the eye look alive so leave a little bit of white in there okay and then you want to draw the nostrils two nostrils oops pencil broke so I'll grab another and then come over here and just draw the shape of the head. So the head's gonna go all the way around the eyes and then a little bump here and there and then come down. Now, if you want to, you can trace the whole thing in marker or you could just watercolor paint it. But if there's any lines you don't want right now, you want to erase them. I'm just going to blacken in the eyes so it's really nice and black. There we go, and there's our frog. Oh, one more piece, I forgot. Down here at the bottom of the belly, you might wanna add another little piece. You don't have to, but it just looks kinda of nice because you can leave this belly white and then this part green. All right, so now the fun part. Get out your watercolors, and you can color this frog any way you want. If 
you want to go and look on the internet, there's all colors of frogs. There's blue frogs, red frogs, orange frogs. I'm just going to make this frog, I think I'll make this frog blue because this one's green. So you want to get some water in your watercolors and you just start painting away. Now, when you're painting, if I do the frog blue and then I want to paint the sky next to it, let's say purplish, I can't touch this wet to this wet. If the wets touch, they will mix together and then you'll have uh, all the water just kind of swimming around all the colors. If you like that, that's fine. But if you want them not to mix, leave a little bit of white space in between, a little bit of dryness. So wet, dry, wet. All right, so now I'm going to paint this frog and let's see how he turns out. And there's the frog. Have a happy spring.